Oh, am I doing? No. That's better. Okay. Hey, everybody. I was just trying to struggle with technology. How is everybody doing today? I think I'm on day 44 of my keto lifestyle. And, um, yeah, it's going great. I feel, other than my ankle, I feel absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm actually typing up a recipe that Angie and I made last night for enchiladas. And I've got a video of the low-carb tortillas that I found that actually came up pretty good. So I'm typing that up too, and I'll be sharing that later. So hope everybody's doing great today. I came up with uh, something. I, I've had a pan that I've been using for a while, and it's nonstick. And uh, it's probably close to being worn out. Um, the tip on that, so basically, I came up with seven things that are wrecking your nonstick pans that you probably don't even realize it. Since I had to go buy one yesterday, I figured, what the heck, I'm going to throw this out to everybody and tell you a solution. So if you have nonstick, the dirty little secret is they're all going to wear out eventually because they've got some kind of coating on them, and the coating will break down over time. <clears throat> and I have yet to find one that works all the way. Uh, hey, Bill. Hey, other. So rule number one. Cooking spray, negative. Most of your nonstick pans actually say, and I don't think I have it right here because I have the, the wrapper from uh, mine, use little or no oil or butter. Okay. The biggest no-no is do not use uh, Pam in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what it is. It builds up some kind of coating on the pan that is like crazy, and that is the quickest way I've found to ruin a pan. So if you're going to use, um, if you're going to use anything, just a little bit of oil or a little bit of butter, um, but just when you see the video I did uh, last night, or I'll post it later, um, I made these tortillas with absolutely nothing in the pan. Um, and this morning I made some uh, keto pancakes. Again, nothing in the pan. I made a cheese tortilla too, nothing in the pan. So far, so good, but it's only been one day. Um, they always work great at the beginning. So if you're going to add oil, this is tip number two. If you're going to add oil, you want to add it or butter at the beginning. Before you even, which is totally against most cooking techniques. You want to add it at the beginning to um, before you turn the pan on. Because what happens is if you heat the pan up without anything in it, it starts to break down the coating on it so it'll speed up your process so and it'll emit fumes that you're not gonna like so what you do is then you um bring up the fats and they'll start to shimmer a little bit it makes it kind of look like ripples on the oils or the um or the butters and that's when you can bring your stuff in i you do truly recommend nothing over medium heat though um the cool thing was i was able to turn up the heat a little bit more last night because i knew i had nothing in it so it was good. I put it in, um, brought it up, everything cooked out great. So make sure you're only using wooden and plastic um, utensils or silicone utensils. Don't use metal. I know I just throwing it out there um, because people use them. That, that includes forks, spoons, all that stuff. Really? No, just don't do it. Um, high heat. Like I said, is a absolute no, 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 no. Nothing more than medium. Even eggs can be cooked on low. They come out great. I mean, my wife this morning said the pancakes look phenomenal. They were totally even. Good stuff. So, uh, what are we? Number five, hand wash, hand wash, very minimal soap, usually just with a rag. I mean, funny part is, I'm not the one that does the, wash, the washing. You can show a test. That I don't know. I, I just don't wash the dishes. It's a deal we made a long time ago. I cook, she cleans. <clears throat> so just make sure you hand wash them. A little bit of a rag, minimum, minimum, minimal amount of soap. And if you do it pretty soon after, you can usually just wipe it down. So, um, all right, cool. And storage. Don't don't place them on top of each other. Metal on metal. Don't do it. What we did is cut uh, cut up some old rags that we weren't using anymore. Made sure they were clean. And then we place them between each other. Um, 
keeps the uh, bottoms from rubbing on the tops. And the last one is not replacing them soon enough. Like I said, yesterday, I have been using this pan for at least a year, probably closer to a year and a half. And I cooked uh, some left. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I made, um, if you saw my video on the mozzarella sticks, I had the eggs left over from the mozzarella. So I said, I'm going to make some scrambled eggs. Actually, I made an omelet out of it, out of the leftovers. And um, I threw it in the pan. Never had an issue before. Never had an issue. Egg stuck. I'm getting rid of the pan. Soon as that starts to happen, it means the stuff is broken down and it's going to accelerate the process and you're going to get more of that coating on your um, on your food. So as soon as it starts, get rid of pans. If this pan works out for me next few weeks, I'll probably tell you what it is, but um, I got it at Walmart. It was like 20 bucks, um, 10 inch pan. So anyways, those are the seven tips that are probably wrecking your pans. So hope you got some value. Share it with your friends. I will be posting a recipe on um, tortillas, homemade tortillas that are keto friendly in just a little bit and an enchilada recipe that we really liked last night. So share it with your friends. You guys have a great day and uh, be the change you want to see in your life today. Talk to you later. Have a great day.